does your VTuber model or design matter? The short answer is yeah, sort of. But obviously the answer is a lot deeper than just the short answer. So that's what we're going to be having a bit of a chat today about, guys. As always, if you do, you know, enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button as well as subscribe. Comment only, bro, today. So a VTuber's model is realistically the identity of their channel. It's the first thing potential viewers see, as well as the thing that they'll be interacting with the most. Whether that be through some advertisements or memes on Twitter, or throughout something like shorts on TikTok or YouTube. Or actually even, you know, through something like a thumbnail on a stream or a video. So, of course, it can be seen as playing a part in the role of a VTuber's success. But that is it. It plays a part. Isn't the whole story per se. Like, a VTuber's design can be something that brings an in interest from potential viewers to a video or a stream. So having a unique design such as a human-animal hybrid, or maybe in some cases even a straight-up animal or monster, can really work to bring in eyes of a new potential viewer, as just being a cute anime girl doesn't quite work if you're a more male-leaning VTuber, as well as VTubers being a quite saturated market now, with them being so many. But in some cases, being different to the norm can also be a detriment. If something about the design feels off to people, sometimes that is itself enough to make them lose interest before they can really dive into what a VTuber is about and just get a very short initial viewing of the channel. I actually had this issue occur myself in my early days of VTubing. I had extra teeth comparable to what I do now, and some people found them off-putting, due to it not really fitting with my humanoid-esque sort of design, as I went more for a humanoid look rather than a monster look. Like, some people loved the different angle I went for, but also others found it off-putting, maybe because of how humanoid my character looked. But, you know, that sort of stuff happens and, you know, you learn to play around a bit. I went with a portion of time with no teeth. Then I went with my current design, which I found was a good balance to still add that unique element of what I originally was going for. But people don't find it as off-putting to look at. Though, honestly, if you're able to keep somebody's attention for enough time, the model doesn't matter massively. If they enjoy your content or personality, or even both, then they're likely to still stick around regardless of what your model looks like because they're there for you in the end of the day and they've built a connection of entertainment with you as a person rather than the model. So in summary, a VTuber's model design is great bringing in new potential viewers, but it is not what will eventually decide on if they will stick around as a long-term viewer of a certain VTuber. The more important thing a long time growth of success is more on how entertaining a VTuber is in like any other area of video creation or streaming. Obviously, a model's design can help somebody's growth as a VTuber, but in the end, if the VTuber is able to entertain people and put in the time and effort into making content, success will eventually reach them. They, them just having a design that is popular with the general public just potentially makes that a quicker road and easier for them.